What's up, guys? It's MB Boxing, and I just finished up watching Kevin Salgado versus Brian Perella. And this was a 10 rounder in the Super Welterweight division. And this fight was Saturday, April 9th, from the Virgin Hotels in Las Vegas, Nevada. And this fight was broadcasted on Showtime. And in this fight, Kevin Salgado and Brian Perella fought to a split decision draw. So the three judges scored this bout 97 93 in favor of Perella, 96 94 in favor of Salgado, and 95 95 a draw. I personally scored it 95 95 a draw. I really thought this fight was really close, really competitive, and um, yeah, Salgado really did surprise me. This was his U.S. debut, hasn't really fought any anyone at the level of Perella. Perella, although um, now hasn't had a win in his past three fights, still in his other two. He had really um, decent performances. Even though he got knocked out against Abel Ramos, he was still winning easily. Um, and even against Tony Harrison, I believe that I thought that um, Perella won. If not, I had it a draw. I can't really remember exactly, but I remember it being a really close fight. Um, yeah, but here, um, fought to another draw, and this time against Kevin Salgado. Salgado came into the fight undefeated, obviously, um, and really came in, as I mentioned before, without any experience against the top guys. But um, one of the main key moments in this fight was in the fifth round. Um, this was really the only moment in the fight where one of them were really hurt, and it was when Brian Perella landed a perfectly placed counter left uppercut um, to the chin slash jaw area of Salgado that sort of sent him backed up and sort of buckled him a bit and um, sort of bloodied the nose of Salgado. But throughout this fight, it was really, really close, and it wasn't like where one fighter did better in the first half and one fighter did better in the second. No, this fight was... Um, like, Salgado might have won um, two rounds straight, then Perella might take a couple more, you know? It was really the get to a fight back and forth in the scorecards. Um, each round was a different fight fought. Um, sometimes we got to see Salgado on the front foot, sometimes we got to see Perella on the front foot. I mean, it was really that type of fight. But most of the time, it was Perella trying to box and use his jab, while Salgado was trying to come forward and land wide punches. A couple of times, he was able to land them. But um, overall, it was a really, really close fight. I thought there wasn't really anything split between the two. thought it was a draw, but I definitely could see it close either way. Comment down below your scorecard if you watched this fight. Um, what are your thoughts on the, um, or what do you think is next for the, uh, or I shouldn't even say winner because it was a draw, or what do you think is next for both fighters? But um, with that being said, what is next for Kevin Salgado? Here in his U.S. debut, still obviously no losses, but um, this was a great learning experience for him, taking on someone who's widely recognized in the top 20 in the Super Welterweight division, um, who came off a draw against a former world champion. I mean, this was still a good showing of who Kevin Salgado is, still undefeated. I wouldn't mind if they have a rematch, but most likely Salgado will take on someone else in the top 25 in the Super Welterweight division, based off of this performance, and most likely on Showtime or a PBC card. But as for Brian Perella, getting yet another draw um, in his last three fights, he's 0-1-2. So they might put him up against a tomato can just so he could get a solid win before maybe even making a rematch between these two or even um, a fight against someone else who's also in the top 20 in the Super Welterweight division, something like that. So comment down below, as I mentioned before, um, your thoughts on this fight, who you think both men could fight next. So overall, Brian Perella and Kevin Salgado fight to a split decision draw. I personally thought it was a draw. It was a really close and competitive fight. And uh, yeah, that's really it. I'm MB Boxing. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.